first. All right. And then what I'm going to do is, so in the in the chat, I'm putting a link to the step out. Oh, no. That, well, this one is to my step out. And then I'm also going to put in the link to, not that. Um, let me find it. There we go. Um, well, I put together a little, a little post, a little blog post, uh, you know, introducing this new tangle called Spinning Mooka from Cassie Armstrong. And now, now we, we can all say we knew her when, just like Sandy from Ireland and, um, you know, and now there'll be famous uh, tangle creators. <laughs> um, all right. And so let me share my screen. And I think it's fantastic. I you know I get ideas in my head, and I have not you know done anything. Um, I like doing this part best and sharing. All right, let me. I, I did it kind of backwards this morning, so I'll do it the way I normally do it. So I'm gonna I'll share my. Oh, I did do it right. Okay, um, my <laughs> my step out because usually we you know we'll draw our own step outs, and then uh, that's especially what I like to do, and then. I will share the step out, uh, you know, from the the tangle creator, just so that way you kind of see both both perspectives, and um, and then it also kind of goes to the, you know, I don't, uh, we generally don't like to, you know, like say, well, I would that wouldn't be passing that off as if it was my own work; it'd still be sharing. But so we just got in the habit of doing our own stuff, or I did anyway. So we start this off with an orb, an orb of your size of your choosing. And then on the inside, and then for those that are new to, to Zentangle, I you know I haven't explained this in a while. The red is always what you what you do, and I have started to remember to number mine. Um, mine generally go from left to right, just like you would read. And um, and then in, and then in the next uh, you know box or section, that part is then black, and then uh, red is always your next step. So in your orb, we're going to put a, a smaller orb. In the center of that, and then th being that this is based on Muka, I'll, I'll show how we do Muka just so that way, if you don't know, then um, uh, then I can at least share that, and uh, just so you have that frame. And I'm going to check something, and I, and I put little arrows here, just you know, so that way it, it is all in one stroke, and that way just to kind of guide a little bit. And so I. Sometimes I'm not sure if arrows help or not, but um, okay. And um, I was just uh, I was just checking something here. All right, so we we do one, and then we go all the way around, filling in as many as you can. And as you notice, I, mine are varying sizes because you know when when I do these, I, I'm doing each each thing is is separate, so I don't do something and then say uh, scan it and then reproduce it. Um, it's all drawn from scratch. So you see the first one has what oh, I have five, then the second one I have four going around. And then the and the one after that I have six. So however <laughs> many you want to put in. Uh, and then on the inside, we're doing like a similar stroke, but maybe not coming having the uh, having the little ball part um, come all the way down. But that I we all put our own take on on things anyway, but this is so. This is how how she is it. So I, that's why I did it like a similar stroke. And when uh, Cassie talked this morning, and because I asked her about this, and, and she was thinking more of a of a fescue type shape, so that which would be like a single line, and then you could always you know come back and add that second line. Um, but I think it works to do the same stroke and and then just fill in the ball if you want to. And then uh, excuse me. And then we aura the whole outside and then you get to play and then and playing is just decorating like this one I, I just put some straight lines and i did a little bit of shading and i put a little uh print up little spiral in the center um just you know to kind of keep going with the the spinning idea and the motion okay and so here is here is cassie's step out and it, you know it's you know pretty much the same i think i i, I put the aura in last so I just flipped that up a little bit. But what I really like to show is um, the, the the work from the, the Tangle Originator. So that way you can see um, Cassie's work, you know, from, from her own hand. And what she did on these was added some of the organics. So the poke, poke leaf, uh, some zinger, 
Um, and those are such nice singers. Actually, this one looks like uh, Sprinkle, um, which is really kind of, well, no, almost. Ooh, but that one would go really well with this. Oh, I might do, okay, I'm getting some ideas. Um, so she did it on, you know, on a, a light surface and then on a dark surface and just uh, neat differences, but that kind of gives you some ideas. And um, and that's all we have. So let me shut off my screen share. That and... white one was like a 4 a.m. tangle. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Oh, and then again, and, and then because I didn't have it written down, and if you ever want to write it, write down what the inspiration was, uh, Cassie, and I can add it to that post, um, just so that way, that way we have it for posterity. Um, but yep. what was your inspiration again on that? I got it from a book, actually. Um, it was a special edition hardcover. It was a picture on the back. It, uh, Anybody that read the book, there's something called a quarter fowl foil, and it's like an astronomical clock. And instead of making a clock, I went with a flower because, well, copyright laws and whatnot. Right, right. But I saw the back of the book, and it just kind of all came to me. So. Well, cool. Well, we and it's. <laughs> And it's and it's neat. And and the other part was you you're a part of our kids is a part of another um, tangle group online and, and they put out a, a challenge or a request if any, you know, either seasoned or new tanglers, if you have a tangle, they were putting out a book. Was yes. it tangle all around? Something like that? Yeah. So she put it in there, so that's good. She so wanted cool. something new for the new year and but with all the members, and there were so many new people, and yeah. a lot of us hadn't done tangles before, like, patterns, our own. So, mm -hmm. she put it out there. That is cool. Cool, cool. Yeah, because yeah, as you had said that when I asked if you, um, if you had uh, submitted it to Tangle Patterns. Because, you know, I was just, just curious. Oh, no, because you had said that... Um, yeah, you were waiting for it to go live, and that's what that was. That was what piqued my question. So, very cool. So we will get started. I think I'm going to use white pen to play today, just kind of like I did. I did on this one, but now I think I'll do it on the on the tan, and we'll have fun. So, all right. And oh, and oh, Marsha, I said I don't think I saw that before. Your first time here, too. Welcome. Okay, and I, you know, this is like, I really haven't moved too far, and all of a sudden I have like, seemingly 12 white, uh, number five jelly rolls, and I can't find my 10, I was like, all right, well, we're, and we don't have any cats anymore, they can't, I can't blame it on them, so, huh. <laughs> um, Jeanette is asking what kind of pens, and it was Micron or any fine line. Yeah, and I just I just use my graphic to do my circles in the middle because I'm I'm old and I need to see better. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and, and it's, yeah, so it's still the same brand, but yeah, just yeah, some kind of a fine line pen. You can even use you know, uh, well that's what I'm using. I'm going to use a um, the thicker Uniball Signo because I want to use the white on here. If I had my number ten handy, I would probably use that, but we'll give this one a try. And um, because I want to make sure that we're working. You know, I, you know, I, I had been frustrated sometimes with the white jelly rolls, but I really, the 10, at least the package that I have, seems to be working really well. So, okay. And you know what? I've got a 10 pack of those. Yeah, of the, of the, uh, of, of the white ones or of the, I mean, the Uniball or the. No, the jelly roll, the 10s. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because they come in a, they come in now. Uh, besides the number, the ten, they come in an 05. So the normal ones were an eight. So you can go. Um, I've never tried the Uniball. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, it's, I, I was only introduced to this because it was a little thinner, and then this one because it was thicker and then seemed to work better. And um, well, and, and, so, and Rosemary's on tonight. I think we yeah. asked Rosemary what she used, and that's what she said she used. So. I jumped on the bandwagon and bought some, and I, I like them. I like them because 
you can see when they run out of ink, you know, and usually that's the only reason they stop working is because they're empty. With the Uniballs, right. a lot of them, I've had trouble with them not working and they're full of ink and that's just right. But you know, I just decided, it's like, I wanted to draw mine bigger. And so what did I do? I drew about the same size. So what I'm going to do, this is called a course correction because there's no such thing as a mistake in Zentangle. You will, for those that are new, you will hear this a lot today. Um, and yeah, and, um, and Jeanette, yeah, you're welcome. Hope that that uh, cleared it up. Because there's other brands of, of the fine line pens, like Tombow has some, or Tombow, I don't know how you pronounce it, has some. Um, Prismacolor, I think, has some. I had had gotten some of theirs before. Um, all right, so I'm actually going to draw uh, a bigger. So what the instructions say is, you know, to draw another circle inside. But if what you drew first isn't to your liking, and you can go bigger, then you could go bigger. And that's what I'm going to do. You're going to run out of space for your others. <laughs> no, no, I'm going to do. Two. I just wanted to do one, and then add. Um, at least that's what I'm thinking right now. And then uh, add some of the organics around it. And, and it's a little bit lopsided, but we don't care about that either. <laughs> There's not much we care about. <laughs> no, that's right. Left we just care about fun. having fun. Okay. So then, oh, and let me, actually, let me on, let me do the, I'll just do the back of this and I will grab a regular pen. So I, I mentioned the, the mucha, and so this is how you would draw regular mucha, and it's if you want to watch, so you can kind of see how that stroke works. So it starts, you know, like at a point, and then it's a curved line, and then um, my favorite is Rick's, which is this is what uh, Cassie did here, and then you kind of come out to a ball like that, and actually if you, you can come in as far as you want, and then you come back out with an aura. And then the actual mucha tangle is that you just keep going around. This one because I, you know, let me do Maria's, which is different. Hers is like this. So you're always coming back on yourself and then you kind of switch, switch um, directions down here at the point. You could go out, go out. Yeah, you yeah. can go out. So I lost my, uh, I was like, okay, wait a minute. Da, 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 and then this way, and then, oh well, yeah, and then you can go this way, and you just keep flipping back and forth. You can also do, and I did one of these up here, where you can um, unfurl it. And this, you know, I'm stopping a number of times because we're using what we call the halibau technique, which is to draw behind. So I'm picking up my pen and traveling it across as if. And it's just, it's a really, it's almost it's a soothing tangle because it's just, you're, you're going back and forth. And like I said, and you're just having it come back on itself. So for this, we're just doing it. We're not doing the back and forth. We're just doing the one. So I'm just going to pick a place and and I'm kind of coming out straight, but it's a curve line coming back down, and I'm gonna I'm gonna bump up against this, and that's where I'm making my, you know, the kind of the ball, and then you know you just keep coming around and then stop, you know, at a you know whatever distance you want to pick, I'm gonna pick that distance away from you know that first line, and then come right back around and back to the starting point. Oh, good. It is seeable. Okay. Heather, Heather's using a Uniball uh, Signo white pen. Yeah. Somebody's asking, and but you can yeah. use a Jelly Roll white if you, you know, there's a lot of brands of white pens, too. Yeah, yeah. The Signo yeah. seem to be even fatter, I think, than the 10. It's called a medium point, I think, <laughs> is what, or bold point. I can't remember. There was a yeah. name or a number or something. Well, it's a, it's a one... A one millimeter, and I think that one, and I have to look again if that lines up with the 10. I don't know, I'd have to look at the package probably. It's like, yeah, the jelly rolls, it doesn't say. And then the, the trick with the, the jelly rolls too is that is to use a light touch, which is sometimes hard to do. 
and sometimes I end up having to go back. Now, my challenge with this one, and I'm trying not to do anything except I am I am running right up at the edge of this, is to try to have a consistent curve so that way these will all be consistent. But on my step outs, I started at you know one size and then um, and then would get like gradually smaller. I got a little bit better on this one. You know, so at least, you know, they might not all be the same size, which is okay, but at least, well, some of them are, that's all right. You know, it's organic. It's just, it is, it is, that way, you know, it was hand drawn. <laughs> I don't like, to, I don't like to do the planning. And, you know, that is one of the, the things of Zentangle is that, um, yeah, we don't uh, worry about uh planning although you can if you want to and let's see um carol i don't let's see i think they're they're waterproof the gel pens i you know what let me uh, i think so i don't know i've never i don't think i have one it's, it's, it's a different okay. substance i think than um um you're fitting a lot of ears around yours. I know. Well, because I made this really giant one. Yeah, but I, you know, yeah, I have to have to look it up. And the jelly rolls too. I, I want to say, I think they are. I just don't know. Yeah. There we go. But that's a that's an easy probably easily answered online or unless somebody just knows. Um, I know that like the um, that's why I went to grab first the um, the microns are waterproof. Uh, they're not necessarily permanent. I think it says, but they are they are waterproof. Okay, then the insides. You know, I'm well, let's see. I'm gonna maybe move here. Well, maybe maybe not. Let's see what this looks like on here next to. Oh, I'm going to keep with the white and then maybe I'll use the, the gray to accent. And let's see. And actually, I think I'm going to, I'm going to modify, which, you know, we can, we can all have fun. Let's see. I got better. Oh, let's see. So I'm just reading Lynn's um, got along better reversing the direction. Oh, and that you know, and that's oh, that's okay. Yeah, if you need to, um, yeah, do it. Yeah, in the other direction, which might work better for left-handed people. Well, she's well, she's right-handed, so that yeah, oh. that you know, um, but you know, it because like there's some things that I like to. It, it just depends on you know for which direction. Um, Okay. Oh, Laura. Well, thank you for testing that for us. <laughs> Not waterproof. All right. <laughs> Good to know. <laughs> um, yeah. And, and uh, as I was just about to say, we a lot of times will find uh, the comfort way for us to draw. And you know, there's some things like a curve line. I'll I'll go from bottom to top, and then other times it's from top to bottom. And it just depends. And so we just find what works for us and stick with it. And that's what matters. <laughs> I'm going to guess that Laura did it on a test thing unless, you know, so, so there, so there should also be no crying on your, on your tangles. So that way they don't run. <laughs> or, or spilling any liquid that, that would not work either. But, you know, and I think I'm going to modify um, it a little bit um, just because I think I feel like doing that. What did I do on this other one? No, I did it. Yeah, never mind. We'll do the same. All right. So then the inside one, you know, same idea. Oh, I didn't hit the top, but that's all right. And I'm just doing, yeah, same, a little ball, and then I'm going to just fill it in here solid with the white. I was thinking could come back and and use some other color if I wanted to. Oh, that's right. I was joking earlier. I said this could, it could be, 
It's like you come here and you do the little ball and then it gets lost and then you have to has it, that it finds its way out. Just like when I would do, uh, when I was doing my music degree and I, uh, my professor and I would come up with a whole storyline of, you know, and, and because we both like, you know, cartoons, especially Bugs Bunny, um, we would come up with some kind of uh, storyline on, on what the piece was saying. It had nothing to do with anything except we were just making stuff up, but it helped. Actually, um, okay, so we can call these, these could be like a cross between a, um, a flux, no, no, excuse me, um, a fescue and a mucha. All right. And then kind of the, the end piece, but I'm actually going to say too, because we had some, uh, people earlier it'll be interesting to see what everybody does but that uh kind of did did double and did you know extra of these you know mucha you know making the flower kind of expand oh well, that's interesting deb says she she tends to do things as a lefty would do although she's right-handed And that's interesting. Oh, so Mom's adding an extra, uh, extra curved line in between. I like yeah, that. And I think I'm going. I, I'm using the, like three shades of gray. And okay. I think I'm, but I think I'm going to uh, circle the little orb that we did at the end. Mm-hmm. Oh, and then we'll see. Oh, that's what I was going to start to say. Is the last step is to do an aura around the whole thing and then the aura is just uh for those that don't know it's it's an outline so for instance you know here was you know the the mooka part and then here is my my outline and i'll say this is the one i did earlier and i did a bunch of them and then i i, I had put orbs inside and then i decided i didn't like that so i went over with gold and you can just kind of see the orbs underneath which just adds a little texture to it um and, and so they, so i'm sharing that because if you want to do some other things and then or later or you know or now and then you can add some extra stuff but once you do that then it's it's just a matter of how do you want to decorate it and that's where i think we end up having having the most fun you have to move yours up mom we can't see it oh, i know sorry. We, we know so we're moving in our lap you know and then we <laughs> either that or she, it's always a, a, a uh, a fight. Am I going to see it better or are they going to see it better? Right. <laughs> well, I figured too, maybe you're doing something secretive and you're just like, well, I'm oh, not yeah. going to show it yet. I did that and earlier. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so for, especially for those that are, that are new to Zentangle, the decorating part is this. So, so like, for instance, inside here, I just put some straight lines inside this, this part. You can do a lot of other things. Um, uh, some people, I think, uh, did somebody put a, um, a completely different tangle in there? I can't remember, but you just there's lots of extra I, fun that you yeah, can. I, I can repeated do. The, the original Mooka thing. Mooka thing. I repeated it two times, but in, in a two different color, you know, in shades of gray. Okay. Well, I am going to go ahead and, and now I'm it. putting like flux in the opening that's left. Okay. Oh, I'm doing this with the wrong pen. Well, it's not really a wrong pen. It's just that, yeah, those eights. Well, as I say that, like this is also not behaving and I have ink in there. Why is this almost, I forgot what I did earlier and I'm thinking this is starting to look a lot like what I did. <laughs> you like it so much? Color. 
Okay, here we go. Oh, let me make sure I'm in. I'm doing the same thing. Let me move my move my stuff here. Yeah, I still well, no, I'm doing something different. Okay. And so just tracing around. Trying to keep this a similar distance as I go. Whoa. is neat and so then to decide well what to do what to do ha, ha, ha. well i know um is it i did like oh i said i did like adding um Adding those straight lines, but I'm, I'm I'm thinking on a different line here. I like that. I mean, tissue box sketchbook next pro. Yeah, <laughs> good idea. All right, let me see how light this is. Oh, okay. So let's see. I'm thinking. Sometimes it takes a little too long for me to think, and I apologize for that. Um. <laughs> I'm thinking I might like to do, well, let's do some. Oh, well, let's maybe just start with some, some zingers. And so for those that are new, Oh yeah, that would be neat. I mean, yeah, to, I mean to actually make a make a book out out of them. That's a great idea. Let's see, a zinger, a zinger. Oh no, that is where I was thinking. Hold on a second. Pausing for a second. Let me. I need to look at something so that way I can make sure I do it right. I'm pretty sure I remembered. Do do. Oh, yeah, that's right. Let's see if I can do it without uh, <laughs> without grabbing this step out. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And I think, let's see. Maybe we'll just have a couple of these or not. And then the other thing is, you know, turning your tile, right, so that way you're making sure to have it uh, be comfortable. So what I, I'm, for, for those that are new to, to tangling, and so you might not have a lot of these things kind of in your art, in your mental arsenal, uh, you know, to draw on. So I've just kind of drawn a straight line. We were calling this fancy fescue, but actually I'm going to do something a little different with it. And if I can just make sure that I remember... Correctly, I'm going to aura this on the outside. Come back down. And then we do this little line. And then we do the cute hat thing. <laughs> so adding a little uh, spring call in there. Let's see, let's do another one over here. And you could just have the this this shape like that just throughout and it looks it just it adds such a neat fun look just having some of these um, fancy fescues as we were liking to call them. A 
let's see. I'm thinking maybe some. <laughs> need some pulp leaf and pulp leaf. For those who say if you're. Oh yeah. If you're new and you don't know and you want to add something like that, um, this I, we're just doing two little lines, cap it off, and then, well, you can do this with a circle, but it's kind of like a S shape sort of, or you can do it just like a curved line coming up to a point, and let's see. Um, so the pen, uh, Laura, that I'm that I'm using, or so I was using the Uniball Signal because I don't have my, my number 10 jelly roll handy. If that was the one. And then the gray, I'm using the Moonlight. Oh, okay. <laughs> you, know, you, you did put that and I wasn't, I was just like, oh, because I was talking about pens. Um, uh, the Tangled Decoration. So this one is spring of coal and you know what let me do this i'll pull it up and i can i can put that in the chat i think really quick and the the fancy fescue that was just our name and then i'm just going to add some poke leaf um oh you know wait 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 media Let's see. Oh, okay. I I I know I had but made a collection. Yeah. <laughs> she does that, Carol. <laughs> she said you're zipping along. <laughs> Here's one um uh uh, I think, yeah, it was a PDF of some organics that I was for a different uh, class, but I think I had a second one. And I just wasn't sure if it was anything different. Oh, no, they're the same. Okay, well... Oh, this one has the one I put on there has nicer ones, but let me get you spring of coal and um let's see. Oh, that's why. I wonder if I spelled it wrong. I think there's supposed to be a G in there. I called it sprinkle. Yeah, I think there's supposed to be a G in there. So. I have my book. You want me to look it up? No, I, I'll, I'll put the step out in, but I think on my step out I spelled it wrong. Oh. <laughs> it's like, really? All right. And for those that, that, if you're on a smaller screen, I'll share my screen here really quick. Oh, that's gorgeous, Mom. Yeah. Um, and, uh, Oh, let's just do it this way. And that way you can just kind of see what I'm, um, whoops, don't want to do that. Okay, so yeah, so here's the, the sprinkle that I, that, I, that I was just doing. And it starts off with what we, we, we started calling kind, kind of a fancy fescue, which is a curved line. Just kind of, you turn it back on itself and fill that little, um, you know, the ball in. And then you, you aura the, you know, um, you kind of have it, have it, uh, bent over ish like that. And then you, you aura, as you see here coming from the underside and, you know, going over the top and then you actually, this one is kind of sloppy. I need to redo it anyway. And then we put another additional line right there. Um, I'll call it on the, the front side, like on the, the, the side to where we started the aura. And then we have this little cap thing. So these are just little C shapes. 
that uh, little curve lines that I, I call it looks like a hat. And then you put a little, you know, a little swoosh on top. And uh, and they're just, they're, they, they just look like little characters. Um, and then uh, here was the kind of uh, short list of uh, some organics that that uh, we can do. So I put that one in the in the chat, and just, so yeah, just a handful. This zinger one is similar because it has that same hat um, that we do. But just it, it just gives you nice ideas. These ones are, um, like I said, they're so nice because um, they're easy to do and they really make the tangle look neat. If you want to add in, you know, the you know, organic types, so. Yeah, it is spring. Yeah, because I, I was saying it right, but then, <laughs> oh, my pleasure, Laura. And then, but yeah, when I went to do it, apparently, so I'll have to oh, scan it in again. It's so embarrassing. <laughs> and um, yeah, so then I'm, as I'm adding this uh, poke root in here, well, actually, why don't I just do one like that? We'll have some growing out the top here, or poke leaf, I should say. And these are nice because they, you just put them wherever you want them. And it's kind of fun to kind of pack them in an area. And I I make mine um, like more bulbous than I've seen other ones. I was noticing uh, Cassie on hers on the on her step out at the top of the I can't I can hardly see yours. Yours you make yours pretty big too. That little the top of the stem the smiley or. This? Yeah. On my, on my poke leaf? Yeah, she makes hers very big, too. I usually tend to make mine really little, but I like the big ones. It adds care. Yeah. Cause it, I, I think, yeah, because like when you do it, it's kind of like, um, it's more like a curve line like this. Yeah, it's just a little, a little zip. Yeah, yeah, like a little fatter at the bottom, but it's, it's more like a big seed, sort of. And I don't know why. I, I don't. I have no idea. That that's well, just the, that's the one thing. I mean, even though everybody puts their own little character into what they're doing, right. even though we're all doing the same basic thing. <laughs> that's what makes it so fun and i kind of liking you doing stuff um sort of behind you know as if you know this is see-through sort of that's and that was my my thought as i was uh playing and maybe we'll do some some flux here Although I was doing the white thinking, well, maybe, it, well, but I still can do a little of that embossing idea and looking at the time, I'm going to, let's we'll do some shading. And um, get that going. And yeah, so Carol say, um, oh, so maybe you do, are we saying, um, uh, I'm just reading Carol's, will you do them next month? Because I'm, I'm going to guess maybe a typo. 
Well, and I'm not hoping you're going someplace real nice for vacation. You know, that's the fun thing about this is because because it is kind of a small, you know. Well, it can be small. It can be. It can <laughs> also not be. Because <laughs> you could just take this right with you wherever you go. And also, I mean, it's not like, I mean, people who like to paint, if you want a watercolor, you got to have water and, you know, and you have a place to dump out the wet water, you know, the dirty water. And if it's the same way with acrylics, you got to clean your brushes and all that. And this, even the brush pens, they're just, you know, they're good just the way they are. Right. Shirley, may I ask you a question? Me? Yeah. 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 Did you do all that background before you did? The design on top, or did you do it? No, the, all that the around this. Yeah, here. No, that I yeah. just did that after I did oh. this. Okay, and inside too was all after you drew the the circles and the okay. Yeah, and was I, that I, using a which pen did you use for the gray there? I have a set of the Micron grays. Gray. Okay. okay, okay. Yeah. Thank eight, you. Eight, I went to look for them the other day, but I didn't find them. Thank eight, you. It, uh, to me, it reminds me, using them reminds me of the, the you know, the class you did the other day, Heather. Yeah, the um, 14 Shades of Grey, yeah. Right. Yeah, kind of, that's what I was thinking. Thank you. I, I was I was thinking of putting some white in that outer, but I don't think I will because then it, then it doesn't, it doesn't look like it's in the background. It would make it too... It's really, <laughs> it's really beautiful the way it is. Well, it's my favorite. And Heather, we're going to have to do maybe Saturday. We yeah. We'll have to. Elegant because it's my favorite go-to fill-in background kind of a thing. And it's really, it's very, the, the one reason I did it is because it's very similar to this shape, you know, the, the muka-ish kind of shape. Yeah. I just, I love to do it. Yeah, we'll have to do that. And I'm just adding in some, for, oh, I had said we could talk about some shading because that's what we didn't talk about. And so I'm just, you know, you get kind of carried away. <laughs> and, um, oh, I, yeah, I, well, I get to, apparently I have in that same, same, to it get carried away and I'm not thinking so if you want to add some shading and I'm gonna I'm going back to the, the one I did earlier um, so oh and I still well I still could on some of these that I haven't uh, finished yet um, one thing was I added some graphite and saying even if I haven't finished some of these I I added some graphite to the like the base where you know where we kind of started that muka shape and as you see here i brought it up into just kind of creating that nice gradient and then i say also i i had put some uh in the the little the the bulb part here just you know out, out on the fat part and i haven't gone back yet because i probably will add a little a little you know mark of white okay carol well hey thanks for joining and yeah we'll see you next time and as in a minute we'll have everyone uh you know share what they did and uh and then on the inside because like here where i put the lines i shaded on the top here so just kind of uh yeah the top and then also on the base because we just thought that that would um kind of set it off and it really did because we we look to make things kind of pop. We don't worry so much about light source, and um, you know. But if you, if they, one of those, if you want to, you can. But if you know, if you don't, you don't have to. And it's just about you know, kind of making things pop. How does you know? How is it speaking to you? And I know here I was thinking I would maybe do a little bit of that, um, the embossed kind of idea. But I think I still can because I can just go on this outside. 
but I'm going to have to do that and finish it up later because I want to see what everybody did. And yeah, answer him. She work, you work so fast because you know once once you get that idea, which is good, and then uh, just to go. Let me just do this really quick here, just because now it's. So I just put some on this one. I just put some graphite along that top line. And let's see if I do it on this top line. And then like for this kind of thing, it's like it's always nice because I can always go back and, and go over if I go into the white a little bit, which I inevitably do. But I'm just pulling that out a little bit. And this is, um, we might, we might have to do like a whole class in, in this um, embossing uh, concept because I know I added it into the shading class. Oh, but look at that. Looks neat. Maybe I come around here just because I want to. Oh, that's going to look neat when I get that done. All right. So if everyone wants to um, uh, open up the webcam and um, and we'll see what everybody did. I did learn that. I, uh, oh, so looking at mine. Oh, that yeah, that that I'm sorry, that gray is not showing up really well in the camera because it is a really light gray and it's kind of matte, but it has a neat effect behind that white. Oh, let's see. Oh, Patricia, that is neat looking on the black. I love that glowiness. Oh, Rosemary, that's amazing. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> oh, and Jen, I like your, yours looks like, it's like, um, it's not quite like Dr. Seuss, but uh, Seussian, we could say, but those are wild. Those. It's like Medusa. I love Jen. <laughs> it's a jungle. Oh, these are gorgeous. All right. And if that, is everybody and Tom and Carl is so neat? Oh, and oh, okay. And so we got more. Oh, then there's more joining. All right, yeah. So hold them. I hope your hands don't get tired. I'll let you know before I take it, so you can get your get the hands up. And said, and Lynn, I'm just Lynn, seeing a Lynn black. To, yeah, Lynn is in black. She needs to. Well, it might be. Uh, could be a. Uh, who knows issue so we'll wait for a minute oh no i saw the, the initials went away but it's still do you have a cut well maybe it's not working all right and if i don't get yours you can always email it to me i'll add it to the thing oh okay so marshall will get yours on there we go there you are okay so hold them and oops let me move my thing print screen okay and let me make sure I got it. New. Boom, I got it. And like I said, if I missed, if, if, if you didn't get a chance to get yours up there, let me put my email in the chat really quick. And um, that way you can email it to me, but I'll send out a, uh, a recap so that way you can see what everybody earlier did. Tangleaddicts.com. Oh, okay, see, that's gorgeous. Oh, and you just you did the other one right right smack in the middle. See, you know, it's like you know the it's it's the uh, we we learn the rules, the step out, and then we break them, and you know put in our own thing, and it's just, but still honoring the, the tangle. All right, here's here's every because it's hard to see what everybody did right with uh, while you're holding it up in front of the screen. Oh, yeah, I should do it. Yeah, I'll start doing that, Diane. Yeah, I'll do a countdown. And three, two. <laughs> and yours is gorgeous, Diane. I like that with, you know, adding the, um, all of the what, orbs. What good does smiling do when you got your picture up in front of your face? <laughs> oh, I don't know. <laughs> it's just like, I would do like, uh, uh, like hold your breath. Because somebody was telling me, 
uh, it maybe it was more like when you're taking a picture, it might have been a um, a photographer that said you hold your breath so that way then you stop moving. Yeah, <laughs> I, was like, okay. I don't know. Nathan liked that one when he looked at it that that one lady was peeking. <laughs> Oh, these are amazing! And Deb, I like Deb's. It almost looks like, uh, like the outer, like it's peeking through to another page of uh, with those other tangles, having them, in, you know, kind of framed like that. That is awesome. Oh, and I see it, Rosemary. So you put the the cheesecloth um, inside inside the mooka because, like, I kind of like I did. I just did straight lines. But that looks neat with the that um, oh, it especially does. in that light. They sort of look like tennis rackets <gasps> hitting yeah. three multicolored tennis balls. Yeah. Oh, I like Pretty that. Pretty fancy <laughs> tennis racket. Yeah. <laughs> I like that. Make rent says money. Uh, sure to see teeth. <laughs> yeah, you get the e in there. You can't say e without yeah without showing your teeth. That's why they say cheese usually, but money is, you know, that usually makes people smile a little bit more. <laughs> um, oh, Kitty, where, let's see, did we miss you? My jelly roll exploded on me at the last second. Oh, no, oh, no. And let's see. Oh, there's yours, kid. Okay. No, and, and that looks neat with the, and I forget what that, uh, the name of that tangle is. I think it's one of those that I've kind of, uh, still a little afraid of. <laughs> um, is it, um, oh no, maybe we, maybe I did that one. Which one, which one, Heather? Uh, the one kitty, which is, uh, just to the right of Jen's. Right. You mean the, the trailing uh, the, leaf? Yeah. Leaf like one? Yeah, I don't. There's one that looks like that, but I don't know the name of it. But I like that. Maybe yeah. it's a new one. And it, check out, see if she, it might yeah. be hers. Might be a new uh, one. Yeah. And she did more of the, 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 the mooka y things around, too. Yeah. Because it, yeah, it makes, yeah, you can add, it's like adding oh, petals. Of course, the of course Diane that. got real fancy and did extra mooka y things and then filled them with orbs. Yeah. They're all so neat. They are. They are indeed. And um, and I think Kitty was mentioning it, it take, takes forever. So it also depends on what size paper you're using. Because I can't tell from the picture what size paper um, uh, that, uh, that you're using. But uh, yeah, well, that's the other thing, too. And you a lot of times you remind people of that to, you know. <laughs> Draw a four and, or you know a circle or a square so you're not working on an eight and a half by eleven page. Yeah, yeah. That exactly. took me forever to learn. <laughs> yeah, to avoid uh... <laughs> especially in class. <laughs> well, and and you're. I mean, this is supposed to be relaxing, right? And you know, reducing stress and all of that. So you know, you right. shouldn't, well, you shouldn't rush. And I mean, you could do a bigger project if you wanted to do a bigger project. It, it, it's one of those where I'm can kind of get back to this. Well, I see, um, and, and some of the ladies from from your group too. I see these pages that they post, and I, I mean, it does. It takes weeks to finish something that <laughs> big. You know, you can't expect to oh. finish. I mean, the the whole idea of this whole thing is. To learn how to do these and do a little tile before bedtime it takes 15, 20 minutes and it's supposed to clear your brain so you sleep better. Right. Not if you're worrying about this <laughs> humongous thing that you're working on. Yeah. It, you know, it, yeah. And it's, I keep thinking, well, you know, it's okay if that's what you want. Cause like I've done some things that were a little bit larger and Kitty says it's a four by four, which is not, I mean, the, the regular tile is three and a half inch square. So. Um, but then like, I'll do things where I end up doing things too small or I go too elaborate and then it, yeah, but then at the same time, it's like, well, that's okay. You can pick up and, and continue yeah. to work on it later. And it's yeah, all good. Nothing wrong with it. It's whatever you want to do. Yeah. It exactly. works. Exactly. And then you can be like me and accidentally buy a 14 by 20 book and go, Hey, I'm going to make an entire page of this. <laughs> <laughs> I did it 
though. Yeah. I did finish it. <laughs> it took like a month, but I finished <laughs> it. <laughs> I have one that I drew out probably when we first started this, Heather, that I've never finished. Oh, you know, I mean, oh. the whole idea, see, I'm, I'm practicing what I'm saying tomorrow when I do my basic class, but the whole <laughs> idea was this was supposed to be something that you can do within a few minutes and it's complete, you know, to, so you have this sense of accomplishment right. and achievement and all of that kind but, of stuff. Right. Um, but it doesn't always work that way. But that that was one of the, the founding foundations of this. Right. Well, but then too, when we're doing that, and yeah, and um, uh, Lim said that Judy's looks like uh, sunny sides up eggs, but it, it's uh, it's she said it's also nine a.m. there, so yeah, <laughs> she's hungry. <laughs> well, it's well, what eight here, and your dad and I haven't eaten yet. But oh yeah, we haven't. Yeah, that's what that's what we're just getting ready to do here too. Let me stop the. Um, we'll say goodbye to the recording.